All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder, welcome back. And please drop a like on the video. Favorite the video, share the video, tell all your friends about the video. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, that's a little pet peeve of mine, man. I hate that when I go to someone's video and before I even know what the hell they're talking about, they're asking me to like and favorite and share the video. I mean, come on, man. I just got here, I just sat down at the table. I don't even know what you're talking about. I mean, that's like me going out to a restaurant, right? And as soon as I sit down, uh, the waiter just rolls up on me and says, Oh, um, I hope you enjoyed your food. Uh, please don't forget to tip, and I'll see you next time. I'll be like, what? Bro, I just got here, bro. I haven't even tried an appetizer yet. I don't even know what, I don't even know what you guys got on the menu yet. So, all you dudes, when you... <laughs> Listen, man, here's a little tip from me to you. I've been on YouTube a little while. Stop asking for people to like your video in the beginning of it. It's cool. Look, you can do whatever you want in your video. I'm just trying to give you guys some advice, because when I hear someone... When I go to watch a video and the first thing they say to me is like the video, I'm, I just leave. I, I'm like, I'm out. I'm, I go to someone, I go look at another video. I just, that's just a pet peeve of mine, man. Why would I like your video when I haven't even watched it yet? You know what I'm saying? It's like me going to a restaurant as soon as I see the waiter. Man, that food was great. Here's your tip. Like, what? I didn't even bring you any food yet. It just, it's weird, dude. It just don't make any sense. Uh, anyway, a little pet peeve of mine. Just wanted to get it off my chest. I've been watching a few YouTube videos lately, and I noticed on a few of them, man, not gonna drop no names. Uh, <laughs> they're out there. Not gonna drop any names. As soon as I go to the video, it's like, bam, they're hitting me with the full core press to like and share the video. I'm like, dude, easy, big fella. You know, little fella, big fella, whoever you are, easy. What's the rush? I mean, that's like me showing up to a girl's house, and as soon as I walk in the door, she's trying to whip my pants off. I'm like, damn, baby, chill. Slow down. I'm, I'm sure a few of you guys won't mind that. But me, come on, man, slow down. <laughs> I'm old fashioned. Damn. Anyway, all right, guys. So let's get into this next gameplay. Some old school OG Black Ops 1 TDM here on Havana. I'm back with some Black Ops 1 in the sub box, guys. And I want to talk about a few things. First of all, my last video, we were talking about some tech that may or may not be available to the general public coming in the near future. We talked about the invisibility cloaks. And, you know, time travel is not going to be available till the year 2100, according to some physicists out there. You guys disagree. We'll get into that in a little bit. But invisibility, there's actually invisibility cloaking tech out there right now. It's out there right now, but I guess it won't be perfected for another 10, 15 years. And there's a few of you guys out there. Now, I was saying to myself, man, we don't need invisibility cloaks in the general public because, man, an invisibility cloak could turn a regular good criminal into a super criminal. Now, I was thinking how invisibility cloaks could ruin society with crime and everything. That's what was on my mind. But you, you guys, you thought you thought of a little different shit. You guys would use invisibility cloaks for something else. Look at this dude right here. The, the Revention. He's like, invis cloaks? Hello. <laughs> Hello, ladies locker room. So see, that's a good thing about being Bruce Jenner. You don't really need an invis cloak. You just walk right in. But this dude would use the invisibility cloak to go straight to the ladies locker room. And I'm sure he's not the only guy out there that would do this. Uh, some other dude, Mr. Gilly Star, said... He'd use the invisibility cloak not to go into the ladies' locker room. He'd use it to go into mine. He'd spy on me in the shower. What? Come on, Gilly. You want to spy on me in the shower? Come on, bro. No way. <laughs> so another dude's, uh, you know, invisibility cloaks, they're out there. And sooner or later, they will be in the hands of the wrong people. You could trust me on that one. And there's some people out there like Miss Tokyo Fun. You know, she thinks that the military cloaks are going to be used just for military use only. Yeah. Um, trust me. You ever hear of the black market? Yeah, nothing that's supposed to be for the military ever stays in the military for long. I mean, look at GPS. A GPS was tech that was made for the military. Now it's in every car. Hell, it's in every cell phone. Like, can you imagine an Invis app on your cell phone one day? Like, you're getting chased by the cops or whoever. Yeah, you just, <laughs> you just dip into an alleyway, whip out your phone, bloop, just hit the Invis app on your phone and go invisible. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's scary, dude. I mean, ah, being invisible, man, mm, it's, it sounds cool. But like I said, man, it, it will ruin society. You will have way too many criminals out there abusing this shit out of this tech, okay? For criminal for criminal purposes, all right? For their own personal gain. I mean, dudes sneaking into ladies' locker rooms with invis cloaks is going to be the last thing you'll have to worry about, okay? I'm talking about, like, criminals, like, super criminals out there with invis cloaks. It, it'll just ruin society, man. Mankind, like I said in my last video, dude, mankind... We're not ready. We're not ready to go invisible, <laughs> okay? We need, everyone needs to see everybody else just to keep shit honest. Um, so that's another thing I talked about. And look, some of you guys in my last video too said that time travel, we talked about time travel in the last video, how it would be available in the year 2100, according to some physicists out there. A few of you guys out there saying that shit's impossible. Time travel's never gonna happen. 
Hey, look, man, the human race, the human species, we are the most powerful beings in the universe, man. Just look all around you. Look at the tech we already have at our disposal, and it's only getting more and more advanced. There's nothing we can't do, man. Time travel is going to happen one day. And there could very well be a dude who's <laughs> traveled back in time living with us right now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you just can't see him because you got the Invis cloak on. <laughs> you know what I mean? How do you know the person you're talking to isn't someone from the future? All right? Like these dudes that are super rich right now, maybe their future self came back and hooked him up with a sports almanac like Biff did in Back to the Future. I mean, shit. I mean, how many of you guys would do that? If you could go back in time, you'd probably tell yourself, hey, here's the Powerball numbers. Here's, here's all the Powerball numbers. You know, you'd hook yourself up. I guarantee you would. You would hook yourself up with the lottery numbers or whatever. You know, a few of you guys in the last video making bullshit jokes. Oh, I'd go back in time and, and stop advanced warfare and ghosts from being made. <laughs> yeah, right. You would go back in time and give yourself Powerball numbers. Or, you know, the sports almanac like Biff did. Guarantee tea you would. All right? So, yeah. Time travel, definitely not impossible. There's nothing. One of you guys listening to my voice right now is going to cure a disease one day. Or figure out how we can regrow lost limbs. Maybe even isolate the aging gene to stop us from getting old, man. Imagine if you could freeze us in our prime, just isolate that aging gene so we'd never die. Fuck the cure for disease. We could find the cure for death itself. There's nothing we can't do. Anyway, all right, guys. Also, in the description, Black Ops 3 multiplayer, zombie, and campaign achievements just came out. Uh, I'll link that down in the description. Go check it out. There's a new difficulty mode coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, realism? You could turn realism on? I have no idea what that means. Maybe you get no health regen. Maybe if you reload your mag and you still got 15 bullets left in, those bullets get thrown away. And you don't just recycle them. I don't know what realistic difficulty is, but it's supposedly the highest difficulty in the game. Uh, sounds interesting. Go check out those achievements. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to titty smack that like button. It is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.